Hello, hello, people. Today I have a nice presentation for you guys, so very simple to understand. A question that seems to trouble the young minds of many, many people, okay? The question being, is ordering from Panda by worth it? And the answer is almost as simple as the question. Yes, but no, which isn't simple at all, because it will completely depend on your individual situation. However, I've got a scenario for you, so let's just get into it. Little Timmy saw his favorite rapper Central C wearing a Nike Tech fleece with Jordan 4 black cats. Little Timmy loves Central C and he wants to be just like him. So Little Timmy does some research. So we have an image of Little Timmy and his favorite rapper showing off his bands. To Little Timmy's surprise, such basic clothing is 210 pounds and the shoes go for over 650. For you Americans out there, I think that might be even over a thousand dollars, but you get the point. Little Timmy barely gets pocket money and he saved up only 200 pounds from his birthdays. But that won't cover the shoes, only the clothes. What does little Timmy do? Little Timmy is smart and he does some research, okay? Here's little Timmy, it, he's for some reason older now and he's pointing at the beautiful pair of Jordan 4 black cats that he wants. The 652 pounds last sale, I don't think so. Little Timmy discovers a website called Panda Boy, a platform that allows him to buy things from China and ship them to his house. How can this help him solve his dilemma? Now A, he can order COVID-23 and threaten the world's safety in exchange for some clothes, which I wouldn't recommend. He can use Panda Boy to order the same clothes for much cheaper or oh, little timmy is only three years old like anyone else that listens to central c and he doesn't know how to use panda bar. he's simply not competent enough the answer was b little timmy uses panda bar to order the same clothing from the chinese market he will pay 450 cny or 43 pounds around 60 dollars for the tech fleece set from husky and 450 cny for a pair of black cats gxk batch or rfa for 560 cny also known as 61 pounds this comes out to a total of £104, or half of Little Timmy's budget, same price as a tech fleece top by itself. However, Little Timmy's drip is threatened by a demon. A demon known as shipping prices, ladies and gentlemen. A terrible force that discourages many panda buyers from fulfilling their orders. But what is the threat? Shipping prices are oftentimes the worst part of ordering through panda buy, but that's because you're not looking at it from the right perspective. Timmy paid £104 for the clothing and shoes. He has £96 left and shipping would cost an estimated value of 312 CNY or £34 to the UK, 571 CNY or £62 to the USA, around 380 CNY on the high end or £41 to EU countries. As you can see, UK line B, a good shipping line, 312 CNY, KREMS, a great shipping line for US, 571 CNY or tariffless for the EU as you guys know. Regardless of which country little Timmy lives in, he is still paying a maximum of £166 for a whole tech fleece set and a pair of the best batch Jordan for black cats. Little Timmy has effectively saved, not really because obviously you don't need, you're not saving money, you're just kind of spending less. It is a bit of a weird subject, but we're not gonna get into it. However, Little Timmy has heard about a terrible, terrible force, even worse than shipping prices. And that terrible force is customs. Customs, also known as shitheads. They are trying to steal Timmy's candy. They are waiting at the border and are ready to intercept this package. But little Timmy isn't too worried. He watched my video and purchased insurance for only 3%. 3% of £166 or £5. If anything does go wrong, he will be refunded that money. There is no risk, okay? If you have insurance, which you can basically get for free if you use code J at checkout, uh, you will get that money back. If anything does go wrong, you will be refunded. Little Timmy is a legend. But what if Little Timmy was dumb and he wanted some simple, easy to get items, such as unbranded clothing, furniture items, rugs, posters? Well then, Little Timmy would be wasting his time and money. The value of unbridled clothing is not high, it is therefore not worth paying the shipping prices for them. Furniture is big and heavy, leading to extremely high shipping prices. Rugs and posters are big and therefore have high volume. Remember, volume is charged is something that's taken into consideration when you're paying for shipping, meaning Timmy would be paying for tens of kilos worth of weight for a simple piece of A4 paper. So then, is Panda Buy worth it? Well, this is kind of like a little lesson and something that you guys should think about. Is Panda Buy worth it? If you're someone like Little Timmy and you're ordering some clothing that is quite expensive if you're buying it directly from uh, the internet, from resellers and whatnot, you're going to be spending a lot of money. But you can order through Panda Buy, spend way less, still pay for a bit of shipping. You know, shipping is um, a good amount of money here, £34 or a third of what he paid for the items. But then again, you're getting it all together for so much less, okay? If you're ordering posters or rugs or something like that, it is not worth to use Panda Buy. Panda Buy is not for furniture. If you want furniture, make it yourself or buy it yourself in your country. It is not worth paying the shipping price. Same for posters and same for rugs. Remember guys, Panda Buy is worth it, but you need to look at it for the right, from the right perspective. 
Thank you for coming to my presentation. Bit of a weird video this time around, I know, but I wanted to kind of mess around with you guys a little bit. Hope you enjoyed. And if you have any more questions about whether it's worth it or not, or anything in general, just leave a comment down below as always. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.